Okay, welcome back to the 312. <laughs> I was like, what's 11 plus 1? Because my brain was like 13, 14. I'm like, that's not how 11 and 12 work. So, draw that down. I'm holding the spoon because I have some frozen fruit. And it's not sure, but it's frozen fruit blended. But not to the point of it being a smoothie, it's frozen. Yeah. And you're like, why don't you put that? Well, I don't want to open it because it's really full. <laughs> so I haven't done that yet. Do you ever think about how weird grasshoppers are? Because I was looking at a grasshopper, right? And this grasshopper started to fly. And when he was flying, I, I think it's because his legs, oh, his hind legs opened up. And that hind legs opening up while he's flying makes him look really odd. So, like, you ever think of how odd they look? It's like, you know when frogs jump and their legs are, like, extended? It's like that. But in bug form. More slender. Bug form. Wings. You know? Now I'm thinking of a dragon that's part frog, but flies like a grasshopper. Yeah, I, um, when, um, I was kind of watching, and I kind of ran into this happen because I looked up the character, and the character had an eye patch, so I was like, okay, spoilers, so, spoilers, but in Dogma Europa 2, um, one of the characters gets a slash on his, um, on his eye, I guess he loses it, um, but what happened is, it's really good at even characters that you might not like or characters that you didn't really bond with too much like i really actually like the yakuza character um i was supposed to say the beginning before actually hearing him speak and knowing it <laughs> And actually knowing anything about him. I made jokes that he's a he, him, lesbian. Still holds up. Um, but the point was that... The point was that um, even so, the playthrough did not talk to him at all. It really was like, oops. And it made me attach to these characters more than I thought I would because I actually disconnected with the actual killer a lot <laughs> like before that I was like like during the trial and I was like mm, eh, my eye is watering allergies and I was like eh, you know I'm kind of indifferent I, I kind of don't care but then I was like uh, and then closer to the end and I was like you know what? Respect. Respect. Because I, I, I don't know. I just didn't, I don't know. So it, I think it made me like that character a little bit more, that troll killer, because I really wasn't into them. Like they were pretty neutral 
and then I really didn't like them during this case. Um, the trial, the end of the trial, not the beginning, but the end. Um, so it was like, uh, and then at the very, very end, I'm like, Like, at the execution time. And I'm like, ooh. Because I'm like, ooh, I kind of like them now. Yukiza is kind of... Not the top as top, but... On my... Is okay list. From, like, the beginning. I really liked him. Um... Not really. I liked him. <laughs> um... My favorite? It has to be hard to say. I really like Soda's look. His personality is okay, but him being really into, like, um, Sonya Nevermind or whatever, it was like, eh, eh, I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, if I played, I think I would have hung out with... Hmm... <laughs> Definitely not the first two people that died. Um. Definitely. I don't know. I'm not really as big into the photograph lady. I'm not really big into the, the ultimate dancer lady. Not really into the design of the gymnast. If they just went with slobbish. Because I think her, her personality is supposed to be slobbish. And her hair is slobbish. But then her shirt isn't that so it's like mm. so i feel like maybe it should have been designed differently i wish she was in maybe an oversized shirt that's like sloppily rolled up that i think would have been cool but of course i need sexy um especially since this is now the second really strong woman that had a fighting panty shot, so I'm like, mm, are you guys weird? Like, is this, like, are you guys just, like, into this, or, like, the writers, or whatever? Um. The fact that you can hear that is really very upsetting every time. Anyways. But who would I have hung out first? I think Soda was a very good contender. The... The gamer girl. I liked the gamer girl. I liked the Yakuza guy. I think those are probably my top choices. Once every time that the ultimate breeder shows his hamsters, he jumps up about two spaces for me. But then once they disappear, it's like yeah okay. But uh, but he's never at the bottom. He's you know he's he's he's, he's like, even without them being there. But I'm like wavering with him because once they actually show his um hamsters, I'm like yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I hope it's not a problem. I forgot about putting away the food. It was really hot. But usually I try to keep it under two hours but before putting away. Unless it's like really, really hot still. Um, because that can be bad. But I forgot. There were two and a half hours. So I'm hoping the extra half an hour is okay because it was warm. Mm. Uh, so that's my hope. It wasn't for me though. So I will never know. Do you guys remember having one class where they're like concave versus converse or whatever it was? Um, and they just gave you each spoons. And it's like, cool, thank you for giving me a spoon. I wonder if you guys can see. There you go. Yeah. Mm. I'm watching the actual video. Don't look at my 
<laughs> this is... Mm. Yeah. Do you ever wonder why your brain messes things up in your dreams? Because I had a dream I woke up and I looked and I had my door open to the hallway and it was really bright and I'm sitting in my room and I just remember going in my dream going mm, that is not correct and my brain's all like, yes it is. I'm like, no, no. See, my door gets closed. And if it was open, it wouldn't just be a square of light. I could actually see something out there. Um, so this is incorrect because my room isn't like this. The rest of my room is okay, but that, that door is not correct. And I'm like, I'm going to blink now. And it's going to be closed, isn't it? Blink. Sure as hell, the door is now closed and the light's only coming from the bottom. I'm like, mm-hmm, sure, sure. So I'm like, hmm, I love that this is the reflecting light. It's very funny. I didn't realize it would reflect so much light. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um... You know, so that was wrong, and then I'm like, well, duh, this is a dream. You just confirmed a dream, <laughs> you loser, you idiot. And so what happened was, I was like, okay. And then I actually woke up and fell back asleep, and that happened eight million times of waking up and falling back asleep. But then what happened was, in one dream, uh, it was something else, too. Like, I had... I was driving a car, but the, I, I don't know, it was maybe the rear view mirror, but not that, maybe it was a windshield, I don't know, you know, dreams are weird, and I had this camera, kind of the duration, and I'm like, well, I need to flip it, because it's facing the wrong thing, um, I think it must have been facing my face, and I wanted to flip it to be facing outwards, not inwards. And I'm like, it's going to be wrong, isn't it? And I could kind of feel it was going to be wrong. And I'm like, dream, don't make it wrong. Just let me continue. And I flipped it. And instead of flipping from this this towards me, it was away. Uh, it, instead of being away, it changed to being behind me. And I'm like, no. No. That is incorrect. Because that's not how cameras work. And I literally want... Okay, so this is a dream. Okay, then. And I just went on, but I'm just like, come on, dream, step it up. Like, don't get things wrong. And uh, one time I was like, this is wrong because I didn't have the correct stuff like I usually have next to my bed, slash on my bed. It was like your tissues, my charger, headphones, lotion, um, my mouth guard, stuff like that. And I remember waking, or waking up and being in my bed, and it was, like, different stuff. And I was like, this is incorrect. My dream's like, mm, no, it isn't. And I'm like, mm, no, no, it is. And my dream just kept going, my, like, my brain just kept going, it's correct because someone put it there. And I'm like, why would someone put it there? It's my stuff. <laughs> and then they're like, mm. and I'm like, okay, that that clarifies one item. Because in my dream, somebody openly admitted that they put the thing on my bed. I'm like, okay. But what about all the other stuff that didn't make sense? And my dream's just like, can we move on? I'm like, no. And I am so stubborn with that kind of stuff where it's just like, would I sleep better if I wasn't so stubborn to my dreams being correct? Maybe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And it really feeds into my paranoia 
which isn't very helpful because I get pretty bad paranoia when I'm really, really tired, like, haven't slept for a day tired, or, like, really been through it tired, but one time when I was really, really young, I had horrible nightmares, and it was because of a horrible situation in my life, and it fed into my nightmares, so sleeping was worse than being awake, and awake was obviously horrible, but being asleep, there it it was horrible. It was always horrible. Life was bad. So at one point, my life wasn't getting any better in real life, but in my dream, I was like, no, I can tr control this. And I, some reason it hit me, I'm like, no. Not like I can control it, but it was, I was getting like haunted and, and I'm like, no, I'm going to tell you what to do. You do not tell me what to do. So I stood up in my dream to the things that were haunting me. And I was like, no, we're done. And it stopped. I woke up and it was great. And I was like in my room. I went to my mom's bathroom, um, which is the bathroom I would use um, for everything. And pretty much I could hear like kid laughter and like it was like two ghost children, I guess. And I'm like, I'm a child. So I was like, why are you scared of ghost children? You are a child. But pretty much later on, it, the important part, I had a different dream. And I was like, no, this is a dream. And a guy was just like, no, I'm in charge of dreams. Like this guy voice. Because usually, it, I don't know why in nightmare and dreams, like it felt different than the other talking. And it does not help with my paranoia that my dream dream that somebody was trying to be in charge of my dreams and did not like that I was taking them back um which again obviously could have been you know my horrible life <laughs> um that I was trying to take back but it was uh doesn't help with my paranoia that I'm like oh my god a guy was trying to take over my dreams and it's like no 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 guy was in charge of your dreams and um so I had this really big, when I get really tired and really paranoid, I always think, like, that was, like, again, he just was unhappy. And he's like, no, if you take control of this dream right now, like, completely sever it, I cannot be in charge of your dreams anymore. You would have to. And for a while, I was, and I'm still really good at, like, just taking control of my dreams and being in charge of them. Um, but mainly, that's just because I'm stubborn. Um, especially in my dreams. I'm like, mm, no, I want to do this. And my dream's like, no, can we please move on? I'm like, no. And I'll just continue on doing whatever I want. That happened quite a few times with, um, for me, it was, I don't know, it was just like, just trying to just be like, I can do anything right now. And it was like, no, remember, we are doing this random dream thing. I'm like, no, we're not doing a random dream thing. This is my dream. I'm in charge. <laughs> and, uh, so anyways, so, I don't know why I just have the weirdest paranoia with that because of that dream caused me to have even more paranoia. And, like, I was a child, and so I know it's, like, not, but every once in a while when I get really tired, the paranoia is like, but what if, but what if, I misclick the button. <laughs> Goodbye.